Hello everyone, as a civil engineer, before you can analyze a structure like buildings, bridges, dams, highways, etc., you first need to know what you are doing. That is, you need to know what is structural analysis. So in this video, I am going to explain what is structural analysis in a nutshell. Basically, Structural analysis is when we as engineers are determining the effect of loads on physical structure. That is when the structure is subjected to loads. Now, this is regardless of if we are talking about buildings, bridges, dams, highways, transmission towers, etc. It doesn't matter. Whatever physical structures which we can see with our eyes and if that structure is subjected to load, we determine how the structure will respond due to the load. Now, there are different types of effects we need to consider when analyzing a structure. The first one is support reaction. When we have a structure that sits on the ground, we need to know what are the forces that keep the structure stable on the ground. The second is the internal forces. Or the resultants. Now we need to determine the internal forces or the resultant inside the members. For example, if we have a truss, we will need to know the forces inside the truss, like the compression and tension forces. For other members like beams, columns, slab, we will also need to know the axial forces, shear forces and the bending moment that will occur due to the member being subjected to load. Lastly, we need to know the structure deformation. We need to know the structure deformation, that is, how the structure we deform, because any structure we apply a load to, we deform. So we need to know how much it deflates and also how much it rotates. Now, what do we mean by the load which the structure will be subjected to? There are primarily two categories of load a structure we experience. The first category is the gravity load. This load we add up and down with the direction of gravity. And there are two types of gravity load. The first one is dead load. Now the dead load, this will be the safe weight of the structure. That is the concrete we use for building the structure, the steel, Basically, this is the component of the building that is not moving, like the slab, the beams, the columns, the gathers, the shear walls, etc. So these are the dead load. Then the second type of gravity load we have is life load. So basically, these are also called occupancy load. There are load that move around in the structure. Like in a building, the people using the structure is going to be an example of life load. In a bridge, the moving cars is also going to be an example of life load. So they are moving load that apply forces to the structure. Now the second category is what we know as environmental load. Now the different type of environmental load we have are 
earthquake load we have snow load we have rain load we have wind load we have ice load and etc so this load are really important for engineers to analyze when analyzing a structure because environmental load most especially earthquake load can cause serious damages to the structure so we need to take the different type of load and their effects on the structure when analyzing a structure so this is what we know as structural analysis now you know this let's analyze a structure well sorry not in this video it is going to be in future videos or you can watch some of my previous videos i made on analysis of beams and frame so this is all i have for now before i leave please don't forget to like and share these videos to friends and most importantly click the red subscribe button to subscribe to Inno tutorial